Okay guys, let's get right into this tutorial. So for this eyeshadow look, I'm gonna be using this Buxom Diva Dolly eyeshadow palette. This is a new palette of theirs and it is so pretty. I just love the rosy shades and like the beautiful metallics in there. So it is just a really beautiful palette. And I do have my whole base on already. My brows are done and everything. I have some concealer just as a primer for my eyeshadow. So for this look, I'm actually gonna be doing the trend that's been going around on TikTok and Instagram. I will list the person who invented the trend. I'll try to find out who the exact person was, but I've been seeing everyone doing like this like easy look using a eyelash curler. So I decided to jump on the trend and do this eyeshadow look using this new palette here and doing that little trick. So I have my little eyelash curler. This is a Shu Umera one. So you're just placing the eyelash curler on your lid and you're using it as a stamp for where you want your shadow to go. So I'm going to be using this beautiful warm color here. That one there is called Wild Child and that's going to go all in the crease using this little tool here. So I'm just going to go in with this fluffy brush here. This is a Morphe JH35 brush and I'm going to go into that shadow there called Wild Child. So I'm placing the lash curler just above my lid and then I'm going to take the shadow and just kind of Carve it out. So I think that actually looks pretty nice. It's not really defined, maybe because the brush I was using was a little too fluffy, but I still think you kind of see like the line, it gives you like a nice line and this is really good if you're a beginner and you just kind of want like a simple, easy way to do a quick eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So next with a smaller brush here, this is a ColourPop E27 brush. I'm gonna go into this nice cranberry shade here called On Fire and I'm gonna use that same eyelash curler and use it on the outside of the eye there just to really make sure that we get a nice cat eye effect and we connect those two shadows together. Trick there kind of helped connect everything. It was a little bit messy with that shadow. I'm not sure if it was the way I put the um, eyelash curler on but I kind of had to deepen it up a little bit myself just like freehand but that does help if you do need like a good guide. I feel like it really does give you a good guide, but I actually really like the way it looks on the top more than the side. That was just such a quick, easy way if you need help with like a kind of quick, kind of soft cut crease look. Okay, so now using my finger, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful rosy metallic shade there in the palette. That one is called Fierce, and I'm just gonna place a little bit of that with my finger here on my lid. We'll see how that looks. So I'm kind of bringing it up a little bit higher and connecting it with that nice shade there that we used in the crease. That just gives like a really pretty like wash of color. I'm actually gonna line my eyes here. I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Graphics Ink Liner in the shade called Milk Tea. So these are their new liners and this shade here is so pretty. It's a really nice soft brown. I'm just gonna use it to line at the top of my lash line. And I'm kind of just connecting that liner with the natural way that the eyeshadow went there. So just to give it a nice cat eye look.
Okay, so I did a pretty intense cat eye look, but I love the way that that brown looks. It just kind of like subdues everything, even if we do have a pretty nice long cat eye, I just feel like the brown is just a little softer. And I'm gonna go back in the shade Wild Child with the ColourPop E27 brush, and I'm just gonna smoke that on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I'm going to place it on the top and bottom of my lashes. I'm just going to pop on a pair of lashes and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so there is the final look using that Buxom palette and trying out that new little trending technique. I actually did a like the technique, especially for the part above the crease there. I found it to be like really nice. It gave me like a soft kind of cut crease look, which was very quick and super simple. So that's great if you're like a beginner or you're just like wanting to try out different techniques and making your makeup a little bit faster like your makeup routine a little faster so I did really like it the side part got a little bit <laughs> um, complicated it was a little bit harder to do for me for some reason but overall I did like that technique I think it's fun so I love to see like new techniques like that because with makeup there's always like new things we can do to make things a little easier and faster so very fun. I really liked it and I did love that eyeshadow palette from Buxom. It was so pretty. I just love like those rosy tones with those beautiful metallics and just the quality is great. So absolutely love it. And I would love to know if you guys like this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.